This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, WAC 100 has had a lot to say about Big U and Nip over the past couple weeks. Conversations have been leaked from uh, Hassan Campbell and stuff like that. And, you know, it, it, Big U is somebody in the industry. I don't care what WAC 100 says. WAC 100 might have had his hands on a few artists here and there, but Big U has had a lot of his hands on a lot of stuff behind the scenes. And he brought, you know, Nip in and everything. You know, so it's like... It's like, and, and Big U's like more known in the industry than WAC 100 was. You know, like recently we've heard of WAC 100. Uh, but, you know... He's been talking real spicy about Big U. They haven't seen eye to eye on a lot of stuff, especially the Takashi stuff. And Big U kind of responds to the whole thing. He's basically saying, hey, keep talking about me. It's helping me get deals with my podcast and everything else. And and uh, he's doing these like shows and stuff. I don't know if you saw that show he did with uh, Fox. What was it called? Uh, Hip Hop. I forget what it was called, but... It was it was good. It was just giving a background on the criminal aspect of hip hop uh, and the people behind the scenes. But uh, check out what Big U's response kind of is right here. I want them to keep my name out their mouth. I want them to keep my name in their mouth. That's how I get the check. I'm like Cat Williams, man. If you ain't got nobody to hate on, feel free to hate on me. <laughs> so I get the check, man. So I get the check. It say if they ain't talking about you, you ain't doing nothing. I'm developing options, man. I'm about to go uh do some more work right here. We just got another deal. For the media outlet, for the media company, chalk one up. About to start this new project, start filming this new project, a new documentary we're gonna be working on. I could tell y'all the name because it's been funded already, but I ain't telling y'all. Make y'all figure it out. Y'all like to listen. Y'all like listening to nonsense and stupidity. But then was crazy when none of this shit don't prove to be that. You don't apologize, so why the fuck should I address it? Y'all niggas sound so stupid, and all you people just go with whatever is first thing on your mind. Man, I like that backpack. So yeah, in that sense, it's like um, Big U is basically just saying he like you know if you're if you're if you're not, if you don't have anything going on, you know nobody's gonna be talking about you, and the more people bring up your name, the you know the the more popping you're gonna be, and the more deals you're going to get and everything else and he's right about that so you know in that sense i i hear him out but uh yeah whack 100 is tripping man like he's really going at everybody talking behind everybody's backs and you know the whole hassan campbell thing is crazy uh the, the him and going back them going back and forth you know whack 100 has become more of a troll big U's taken more seriously still i'd have to say you know the he started a podcast right at the gate, teamed up with uh, World Star, and is doing that. But it doesn't seem like Big U and WAC 100 are going to see eye to eye ever again. Uh, just too much was said, and the, the slander that 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 uh, WAC 100 does now with the whole Nip situation is just nuts. You know, it's like, what? Why do you have to uh, bother somebody? that isn't even alive to defend their own name anymore. I mean, I just find the whole thing kind of disgusting at this point. Um, the Takashi thing, I got it was a business move and it's, not, you know, not just a business move, but it's like, it's something to uh, make money off of. 
Yeah, but with that is a business move. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just rambling. But uh, it's it, it, I, I see that it's something to make money off of, and he can justify it all he wants. But it goes against morals and principles of everything. But he's looking at it. He is a he is doing business with Takashi. It's not like he's embracing him or anything. And you know he sees the flaws and how Takashi was roped into something that. Um, you know, it, it was the other guy's fault too, Mel Matrix and all them for involving him all that and telling him so much. So th they had their own flaws and everything. Um, I don't know, man. But the him going at Big U was just, I think it's just a, it's just dumb. You know, it's like, what, you guys are all going to clash? <laughs> you know, like Big U doesn't care. Uh, so well, we'll see how it all pans out. Eventually, I'm sure they'll be friends again because. That's just how people roll. But uh, anyways, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I'll check you guys in the next one.